Internet, my name is Lave, and this week I was actually on my way to the cinema to go and watch Going In Style, the new film with Michael Caine, Alan Arkin and Morgan Freeman, but then I was looking through the cinema listings and I came across this film called Raw, which I knew absolutely nothing about, but I read the synopsis and thought... I'm going to give that a go and I'm really glad I did because it was the most unique cinema experience I've had in quite a while. Written and directed by French director Julia de Canal in what I believe is her first feature length film, it tells the story of a young girl called Justine who is starting veterinary school at a university in Belgium. She's been raised as a strict vegetarian by her parents and her principles are immediately put to the test when all of the rookies or the freshers are forced to take on initiation tests by the senior students. One of them she is forced to eat meat and let's just say she gets a bit of a taste for it. So essentially this is the most insane coming of age story that just happens to have cannibalism in it. Like all good horror dramas, it's full of analogies and metaphors that are exploring themes of primal instincts and urges, sexual awakening. And my interpretation of the core theme of the film is that it's commentating on what happens when you try to suppress those animalistic urges. But that's not to say that it's exclusive to those themes. It's also touching on social acceptance or peer group acceptance, sibling rivalry and overbearing parents. Justine's older sister is actually one of the older students dishing out all of the initiation tests. And it's also revealed that her parents also went to the school as well. So Justine has a lot to live up to. There's a lot going on in this film in terms of its themes and analogies and metaphors, but I have to say I really liked it and I think primarily that's due to a terrific central performance by Garance Millier. She is the very definition, at least at the start of the film, of innocence, but then her transformation is something else. She is properly fantastic. In fact, I think all of the cast did a really good job. The other standout for me was her sister, but then you've got other side characters and extras who all do a good job. But for me, the real star of the show is the director, Julia de Canal. It's really hard to believe that she's not a seasoned pro who's five or ten films into her career. She is in complete control of her material. She does a fantastic job. There's some really striking images throughout this film which evokes the works of David Cronenberg and other films of this genre like Carrie but it does somehow manage to be original while also referencing those films. And I also really liked the location where they shot this film. I don't know if it's a genuine veterinary school or university, but it feels like it. And if I'm not mistaken, they used real footage of animals being operated on. There's a scene where a horse gets injected with ketamine and it's really atmospheric. This film is obviously very surreal, but at the same time it feels grounded. And the use of practical effects is really effective as well, and they're all top notch. There is the most convincing severed leg I've ever seen. You can see all of the muscle sinews and all the tendons, it's gross. And the sound design and musical score is also very effective. They know when not to use it and when to use it to give a scene a bit more oomph. The only criticism that I do have is that the third act does get wrapped up quite quickly quickly but upon a second viewing I might change my mind and it does have a killer ending. So that's my thoughts on Raw and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. Please excuse the bad pun but obviously this film isn't going to be to everyone's taste. But if you liked films like Nicholas Winding Refn's Neon Demon which I think is one of his better works you'll definitely like this. I actually think I preferred this to The Neon Demon. Obviously, this isn't a mainstream film. It's an indie drama horror, but I believe it's destined to be a cult classic. I really, really enjoyed it. It was delicious. So thanks very much for watching my review of Raw. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give this video a like and don't forget to share the lave. <coughs>